Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So today I am here with another video on equivalent versions of Euclid's fifth postulate. So here we are going to study the equivalent version, the similar version of Euclid's fifth postulate. I hope you are familiar with the Euclid's fifth postulate. In today's video, we are going to study about the equivalent version of Euclid's fifth postulate. So, there are many versions uh, of Euclid's fifth postulate. So, in your textbook, one method is given, one version is given, which is called as Playfair's axiom, okay, which is similar to your Euclid's fifth postulate. So, the axiom is for every line L, so this is a line L. And for every point P which is not lying on L. This is the point P which is away from the line L. There exists a unique line M. There exists a unique line M passing through P which is passing through this P. And that is parallel to this line L. So this is the play first axiom. So it can also be stated as two distinct intersecting lines cannot be parallel to the same line. So the two distinct intersecting lines, if these are the two intersecting lines, then they cannot be parallel to this line. They cannot be parallel to this line okay so this is nothing but the equivalent versions of euclid's fifth postulate so here we are going to study with the exercise 2.2 okay so the first question is asked as how would you rewrite euclid's fifth postulate so that it would be easier to understand okay so the question is given as how would you rewrite your euclid's fifth postulate so that you can understand it easily so the same answer you can write you can either write this one or either you can write this one so both are the euclid's uh, equivalent versions for your euclid's fifth postulate okay then moving on to the next question that is second one does euclid's fifth postulates imply the existence of parallel lines explain so whether uh, we have to tell whether these euclid's fifth postulates tell us about the presence existence that is presence of parallel lines or no yes it do tells us about the existence of these parallel lines because see if l falls on the two lines this is the l line l which is falling on these two lines l m and n okay such that the sum of interior angles of one side of l sum of interior angles means this is inside angles this angle as well as this angle sum of these two angles Okay, on one side of L is a right angle. If you add all this, you are going to get a right angle. Thus, we see that lines M and N will never meet each other. So, it means these two lines will never meet each other. Okay, thus we say that, thus we will, thus they will never meet each other on the other side of L too. Okay, so it means the other side of L here also they won't meet. If they, if they are not meeting on the left side, then they will definitely not meet on the right side. Because if this is 90 degree, then this will also be 90 degree. Okay, means it, it is just like this. Okay, just think of this is the line. If this is 90 degree, then obviously this will also be 90 degree. If this is 90 degree, then this will be also 90 degree. Okay, so it means the both lines, if it is parallel, means... This line, if it is on 90 degree, it should be a straight line only. Means it should be parallel itself. Both the lines must be parallel. So, thus they will never meet on the other side of L2. We can say that M and N are parallel. So, by this reason, we can say that these two lines are parallel. So, I hope everything is cleared here. This chapter is completed over here. If you are having any doubts regarding this, you can comment me down below. I will definitely help you out. So, I will be there with another video of a new chapter in my next video. So, till then, stay tuned and stay connected. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.